Now, the largest tech and innovation exhibition in Europe, VivaTech, is opening its doors today. Elon Musk and Emmanuel Macron are among those set to speak during the four-day trade show. And the issues being discussed this year include the funding for artificial intelligence and its regulation as well. Well, our tech editor is Julia Seeger and she's at Viva Tech for us. She joins me live on the programme now. Julia, first of all, just tell us what the mood is like there right now. Well, the French president is about to uh, enter Viva Tech. He's going to start walking around the aisles uh, of uh, the trade show. And, you know, this is uh, something that he knows very well because he's considered as the president of the startup nation, as we say. He's uh, really been a, a huge supporter of the French tech industry. Uh, but this year, actually, the French uh, tech industry is not doing quite well. After two years where seed money was really flowing, well, uh, more and more this is becoming uh, more complicated. And it seems like a lot of uh, the startups are now having trouble uh, finding seed money. So he is going to address that. But uh, I did want to tell you a little bit more about what Viva Tech uh, is pushing forward this year, innovations that are set to bring profound and positive impacts on society. So we're going to be talking about artificial intelligence. You know that this is a growing sector. Uh, it represents a market share of about $500 billion. Uh, and of course, it's growing fast. It's also raising ethical questions on uh, privacy, but also uh, because it's entering all of the sectors. Now, uh, diversity and inclusion are also two other important themes with an entire village dedicated to femtech, so all uh, the technologies having to do with women's well-being. There's also a lot of uh, initiatives to try to push more young girls and women to enter the STEM and tech sector because, unfortunately, they're still widely underrepresented. And another big issue this year, Julia, is so-called green tech and the innovations to try and improve sustainability. What can you tell us a bit about that? Well, that's right. Green tech is huge this year uh, at Viva Tech. As you know, to be able to uh, get to net zero, you need to reduce the carbon emissions, but you also need to develop technologies that are can carbon capture, if you will. And that's exactly what the French startup Morpho is doing. So what they're doing is using, using uh, imagery, satellite imagery, to map depopulated forests. With the data they, they also collect on the ground, they can then decide which plants to plant according to the ecosystem. And they create these capsules that they can then uh, drop with this drone on huge areas. And that allows them to really repopulate and reforest huge areas. They uh, did this project in Gabon, uh, and it was uh, very successful indeed. And now they want to also uh, do the same in Brazil. So you have this type of innovation, but you also have more frugal type of innovation that everyone can use on a daily basis. So uh, this is an award-winning sticker uh, that can tackle uh, a, a problem that we all face uh, at home. And uh, this is really to try to uh, uh, prolong the life, the freshness of produce. So what they use is uh, bioactive material that plants actually make. So this is biomimicry. And when uh, a mushroom, for instance, wants to develop within the fruit, well, it simply can't because of this bioactive material. And Julia, staying with uh, sustainability, what about technologies this year that are trying to help us improve renewable energies? That's right. We often hear about wind, solar, also tidal energy. But what was really mind-boggling to me to this year uh, was something that we call osmotic power. It's how to harness the power of salt. So what they do is that they use the difference in salinity that you find in fresh water uh, and the difference that it has with seawater. And that energy uh, is created when they meet in estuaries, for instance. And this is very interesting because there's you don't have the problem of intermittency of renewable energy. So you can really see here that at Viva Tech you get to discover all the latest tech trends and all the ways in which people are trying to find solutions to some of the most pressing issues. Julia Seeger, our tech editor at Viva Tech. Thank you very much.